Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So once again, it is the spooky season, so I decided today would be an excellent day for a scary science video. And if you haven't seen my previous scary science videos, I actually just made a playlist recently, which you can see here. So feel free to check that out and you can find out all about killer toads, mystery creatures in LA, and why Marie Curie still has to be buried in a lead-lined tomb. But on to today's video. It's actually inspired by one of my favorite YouTube channels, which is the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, or MBARI. They're a nonprofit research institution advancing marine science and engineering to understand our changing ocean. And they have a pretty good YouTube channel. And they have amazing videos of deep sea creatures taken by ROVs. And one particular creature has just always fascinated me. It's both hypnotic and kind of scary. And its name is very apt, the giant phantom jelly or Stygiomedusa gigantea. And gigantea is also very apt because when this creature is measured end to end, it is nearly 35 feet. That's a lot of jelly. So let's dive into the ocean's midnight zone, which is totally a real place, and get lost with the giant phantom jelly. Here is some incredible footage from Membari's remotely operated vehicle of the giant phantom jelly. It's incredible for not only what it's capturing, but how truly rare it is. The giant phantom jelly was first spotted in 1899, but has only been seen about a total of 100 times since then. It is the only species in the monotypic genus of deep sea jellyfish. It is one of the largest invertebrate predators known in the ocean, and with its beautiful bell-like head, which is about three and a half feet across, and its four ribbon-like mouth arms, more on that later, that can grow to more than 33 feet, or 10 meters in length. It weighs about 90 pounds and has been spotted in every ocean around the world, with the exception of the Arctic. Ambari's ROVs have logged thousands of dives, and yet they have only seen this spectacular species nine times. Nine times? Nine times. And though, like I said, it was originally spotted in 1899, it wasn't until nearly 60 years later that scientists even recognized this as a new species. And even now, scientists know very little about this animal, most likely because it is found in some crazy deep water. The scientific name for crazy deep water is the ocean's midnight zone. And there, the phantom jelly is found at depths of around 20,000 feet below the surface. Now, your average recreational scuba diver can go down to about 150 feet. Titanic sits at 12,500 feet. These phantom jelly are another 10,000 feet below that. Their bodies being made of a spongy tissue or jelly that allows them to withstand the enormous deep ocean pressure of 5,800 pounds per square inch. Also, the phantom part of the giant phantom jelly has to do with the depths that they swim in. Though to us, this jellyfish has a distinctive orange-red color, red light cannot penetrate deep water. Thus, reddish-brown animals do not reflect light, allowing them to appear invisible, depending on the depths of the water. And let's talk about these mouth arms. The arms actually grow in a V shape and aren't considered to be tentacles. They don't use any stinging nettles, but instead use their arms to trap and engulf their prey, which consists of plankton and small fish. It is thought that they actually digest their prey all the way up their arms, which is one of those things in life that is both cool and gross in equal measure. But our giant phantom jelly is not necessarily doing all of this elegant swimming solo. They are very often seen with a friend. Evidence has been collected to support the first ever documented symbiotic relationship for an aphidiform fish. Thalassobathia pelagica, which is way too long a name to keep repeating, so 
I'm just gonna call him Fred. In 2003, Ambari filmed Fred and the giant phantom jelly together in the Gulf of California. Fish like Fred, which are about eight inches long, usually live on the seafloor, but this specific species has adapted to use the giant phantom jelly as a habitat instead. Scientists have observed that the large umbrella-shaped bell of the giant phantom jelly provides food and shelter for Fred, while Fred aids the giant phantom jelly by removing parasites. And the jellyfish providing shelter for Fred is actually really helpful considering the lack of shelter resources at such extreme ocean depths. And studies to further support this symbiotic relationship have shown that the two species reassociate with each other even if they're separated. It was inferred that after separation, Fred is able to find its way back to the giant phantom jelly due to neuromasts that increase the sensitivity of low frequency water movements, which the bell of the jellyfish emits. I feel like there's some weird Pixar movie in this relationship, or maybe it just reminds me of like George and Lenny. I don't. I don't know, can't decide. And this past February, a Viking cruise ship off the coast of Antarctica actually got super lucky and captured footage of a giant phantom jelly while on a tourist submersible. And apparently the people on board said that the creature was bigger than the submersible that they were filming from. It's like iPhone style footage, but still really beautiful. I don't know how much it costs to take a Viking cruise to Antarctica, but I think if you come home with footage like this, you got your money's worth. So yeah, I just wanted to share some footage of this amazing creature. So stunning, kind of scary, and definitely a Pixar movie waiting to happen. I'll put a link to Ambari's YouTube channel in the description below. Definitely check them out. They have incredible videos that are just so hypnotic to watch. I've definitely gone down some like, 3 a.m. YouTube rabbit holes with this channel, but no regrets. Please let me know your thoughts about this amazing creature in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.